So which one of these fractions here is greater? One and one third or one and one half? So how do you figure that out? So to start off, both of them have one, this whole number one. So let's just ignore it. Let's just compare one third and one half. And that'll tell us whether one and one third is greater than, less than, or equal to one half. So what we need to do is find a common denominator. Right now we have three and two. But if the denominators were the same, we could just compare the numerators figure out whether one and one third is greater than, less than, or equal to one and one half. Let's do that. I'm just going to multiply the three times two, because when I do that, I get six. Down here, I'm going to multiply two times three, because when I do that, I get six, and now I have the same denominators. But I can't just multiply the denominator by three here. I need to multiply the numerator by three as well. That's because three over three is one. Just multiplying by one. I don't change the value, just the way it's represented. One times three is three. And three six is the same thing. It's equivalent to one half. Up here, we're going to multiply the numerator by two. One times two is two. And two six, that's equivalent to one third. Now we have the same denominator. We're going to compare the numerators, figure out which is larger. So three is larger than two. That means three six, that's larger than two six, only by one six, but it's still larger. And since these are equivalent here, one half, that's larger than one third. And the whole thing, one and one half, that's going to be larger than one and one third. That's it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.